Scene script. Have you ever wondered why phosphorus is crucial for your plants? Well, let's unpack this. Phosphorus is one of the three primary nutrients that plants need to thrive alongside nitrogen and potassium. But why is it so significant? Firstly, phosphorus plays a pivotal role in photosynthesis, the process by which plants convert light energy into chemical energy to fuel their growth. It's like a plant's power station, transforming sunlight into the energy they need to grow and flourish. Moreover, phosphorus facilitates energy transfer within the plant. Think of it as a plant's internal courier service. It helps to move energy from one part of the plant to another, ensuring every cell gets the energy it needs to function properly. Phosphorus is also a key player in nutrient transportation within the plant. It's like the plant's own nutrient delivery system, ensuring that all the essential nutrients make their way to where they're needed the most. But what happens when a plant doesn't get enough phosphorus? The consequences can be quite severe. Phosphorus deficiency can lead to stunted growth, as the plant can't produce enough energy for healthy development. It can also delay maturity, meaning it takes longer for fruits and flowers to form. Furthermore, phosphorus deficiency can decrease productivity. Without enough phosphorus, plants may not produce as much fruit or as many flowers as they could with sufficient phosphorus. So, in essence, Phosphorus is like a plant's life support system. It's involved in almost every aspect of their growth and development, from energy production to nutrient transportation. And without it, plants can't grow, develop or produce to their full potential. Now that we understand the vital role phosphorus plays, let's delve into the richest sources of this essential nutrient. So where can your plants get this much needed phosphorus? Well, the first rich source of phosphorus that we'll discuss is bone meal. Derived from the ground-up bones of livestock, bone meal is a fantastic organic fertilizer that is high in phosphorus. In fact, it typically contains around 12 to 16 percent phosphorus. But that's not all. Bone meal also provides a hearty helping of calcium, another essential nutrient for plant growth. To utilize bone meal in your garden, you can work it into the soil at the time of planting or use it as a top dressing for established plants. Next up, we have rock phosphate, another naturally occurring mineral that's chock full of phosphorus. Rock phosphate is formed over long geological timescales and is mined from the Earth's crust. The phosphorus content in rock phosphate can vary, but it's generally around 20 to 30 percent. That's a lot of phosphorus. To use rock phosphate in your garden, you can mix it into the soil or add it to compost piles to enrich the compost with phosphorus. One thing to note about these two sources is that they release phosphorus slowly over time, providing a steady supply of this essential nutrient to your plants. So you won't have to worry about frequent applications. Also, remember that while both bone meal and rock phosphate are excellent sources of phosphorus, they're not interchangeable. Each has its own unique benefits, so it's best to use them in conjunction with each other for a well-rounded nutrient profile in your soil. Bone meal and rock phosphate are great ways to add phosphorus to your soil, but they're not the only sources. In the next part, we'll delve into more sources of phosphorus that you can use to ensure your plants are getting all the nutrients they need. Stay tuned. Scene script. Ready for more phosphorus sources? Here we go. Let's dive right into our next phosphorus-rich source, fish meal. This nutrient-dense material is produced from cooking and grinding the bones and offal of fish. It's a fantastic organic fertilizer, boasting a high phosphorus content, which can be up to 7%. Fish meal also provides a good amount of nitrogen and potassium, making it a well-rounded choice for gardeners looking to boost their soil's fertility. To use fish meal, you typically mix it into your soil before planting. Its nutrients are released slowly, ensuring your plants have a steady supply of phosphorus throughout their growth cycle. Next up, we have a rather unique source of phosphorus, bat guano. Yes, you heard it right. This exotic fertilizer is actually the excrement of bats, specifically those that consume a diet rich in insects. Don't be put off by its unconventional origin, though. Bat guano is a powerhouse of nutrients, particularly phosphorus, with percentages reaching up to 16%. That's more than twice the phosphorus content of fish meal. To use bat guano in your garden, you can either mix it into your soil or steep it in water to create a nutrient-rich tea which can be sprayed directly onto your plant's leaves. 
When using these natural fertilizers, remember that moderation is key. Too much phosphorus can lead to nutrient imbalances and harm your plants. So always follow the recommended application rates and observe your plant's response to adjust as necessary. Fish meal and bat guano are both potent sources of phosphorus, but there's still one more to cover. Our last source of phosphorus might surprise you. Now you might be thinking of exotic, hard-to-find materials, but sometimes the richest sources are right under our noses, or more accurately, right under our feet. That's right, we're talking about compost. Compost is a gardener's gold, a rich, dark, crumbly substance that's teeming with nutrients, including a good amount of phosphorus. It's made from organic matter. Think vegetable scraps, grass clippings and leaves that decomposes over time. As the material breaks down, it releases nutrients back into the soil, including phosphorus. The process of composting is as natural as it gets. Organic matter naturally breaks down over time, thanks to the work of billions of tiny beneficial microorganisms. These little workers break down the organic matter into its basic components, making the nutrients available for your plants to use. Now, how do you use compost in your garden? Well, it's simpler than you might think. You can add compost directly to your soil, mixing it in to provide a nutrient boost. Or use it as a mulch to suppress weeds and conserve moisture. You can even make a compost tea by steeping compost in water for a day or two, then using the nutrient-rich liquid to water your plants. The beauty of compost is that it doesn't just provide phosphorus. It's a complete, balanced fertilizer that provides a wide range of nutrients, including nitrogen and potassium. Plus, it improves soil structure, helping to create a loose, crumbly texture that's perfect for root growth. So there you have it. Compost is not just a way to recycle kitchen and garden waste. It's a powerhouse of nutrients, a soil conditioner, and a gardener's best friend. Compost not only provides a good amount of phosphorus, but also enriches the soil with other nutrients. Let's recap the richest sources of phosphorus for your plants. First up, we have bone meal. This fantastic source of phosphorus comes from the grinding of animal bones and is a slow-releasing form of this vital nutrient. It's a two-in-one deal, as it also offers calcium, another essential nutrient for plants. However, keep in mind that bone meal can change the pH of your soil, making it more alkaline, so it's not ideal for plants that prefer acidic conditions. Next up is rock phosphate. This mineral is a natural deposit found in the earth that is a slow-release source of phosphorus. One of its greatest attributes is its longevity, as it can provide phosphorus to plants for many years. But remember, it's not water-soluble, so it's not as readily available to plants as other sources might be. Fish meal is another rich source of phosphorus. Derived from the waste of fish processing, it's not only a good source of phosphorus, but also provides nitrogen and potassium. However, it can have a strong odor, so if you have a sensitive nose, this might not be your first choice. Bat guano, or bat droppings, are also a great source of phosphorus. It's fast-acting and water-soluble, making it readily available to plants. Yet, it might be a bit more challenging to source and more expensive than other options. Last but not least, we have compost. This is a well-rounded source of phosphorus and other nutrients, depending on what you put into your compost pile. It's an excellent way to recycle kitchen scraps and yard waste into a nutrient-rich amendment for your plants. Just remember, the nutrient levels in compost can vary greatly so it might not always provide enough phosphorus for plants with high phosphorus needs. With these sources at your disposal, your plants are sure to thrive and produce to their full potential.